Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this board. It's a mini long board or cruiser board, whatever you want to call it. Main feature of this board is the way I've joined the centre board to the side boards, which I've made cuts, you'll see in the, in the video. Apart from that, it has a, a dome deck, which is uh, not to, well, I haven't seen it very often, but I think it'll be really comfortable, especially barefoot skating. Basically what I've done is just put my router in my workmate and make sure it's uh, flat and then clamp this board here with a little cutout for those really small, uh, small cuts I have to make. Super easy setup. Sanding to smooth it. Looks straight. Ish. And that's the routed center board. getting quite close now so I'm just going to sand some of these edges off. It's supposed to be a tight fit so that's why I've been so careful not to make this too small so that it'll just drop out. That is cool. No glue. You can just slide it into place. This one's slightly looser. All right, so now we have now that we have our grooves cut, it's time to apply some glue. All right, just gonna clamp it up. Now I've put all the clamps on, I'm going to tighten from the center. I think that's the way to do it. These are two uh, thinner strips of wood that are going to be stuck on the outside of the board which will form, uh, say, the rails. Again, make sure there's a lot, enough glue, not too much, just enough to, color, to cover everything evenly. But don't flood it in glue because that will actually weaken the bond, not strengthen it. Yes, this is going to be the top, this is going to be the bottom. It has a bit of an arch in it where I want it, so that's nice. So this is what it's going to be in the end. These are the colours, so light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. This is just going to be sanded off. Well, it's been about 24 hours since I glued this, so I'm guessing the glue's going to be pretty hard. It's not that heavy, actually. I was thinking it was going to be really heavy, but not too bad. Obviously a lot of sanding to be, gone, to be done here, but... about the right size isn't it? Fuck. I was always crap at cricket. Alright so I'm gonna sand it uh, flat again. I'll do these outside ones that are a bit higher than the rest just with the hand planer 
and uh, take it from there, really. I just cleaned the shed, so maybe I should be throwing these in the bin instead of straight on the floor, but whatever. Cool. And now we're going to use the belt sander to flatten it off, make it all even. One way of checking if your board is flat in this direction is by placing something flat on it. And if there is a gap, under anywhere, or you can easily see where you still have to do some sanding. Now that we have the outline of the board and the centre line drawn on correctly, it's time to saw out the shape. I'm going to do that by hand because my jigsaw died. The mini wood eater, rasping file or whatever. I use my belt sander like this quite often. Uh, all I do is put it sideways on the workbench and get a big clamp, clamp it down, and. Uh, Instead of moving the, the sander, I move the piece I'm working on. Now when I get close to the line I want to be, I uh, prefer to continue by hand. I do that with something straight and I wrap the sandpaper around. And that way you get nice, clean lines. This is unfortunate, because I bought it yesterday. So, now because I'm not uh, a very experienced joiner, I have some, some cracks on the top, not cracks, just openings where the planks don't quite fit together. They're not very big, but they're there. There's one here and a very tiny one there. Um, what I'm going to do is, I've saved some sawdust from this board, from this board, and uh, I'm going to mix that with glue, and then push it in. The glue has dried on this now, and as you see, it's left uh, quite a mess. So we're going to sand it off and uh, see if it's done a trick. <laughs> Oops. I think plug out is the way to go. Hey. I need this to shower in the morning. Oh, did you see the speed it went in? <laughs> anyway, it did uh, move the glue off and it looks quite nice. That's cool. Now you are coming out.
before I start finishing it, sanding it, making it nice, um, I'm going to drill the holes for the trucks because you don't want to do that after you've done all your careful sanding. So when I drill, I use a piece of wood under it. Uh, this helps to stop splinters coming off uh, where the drill bit comes out. to see I'm using it in this motion slightly uh, this gives a nice curve now I'm satisfied with the evenness of it now so instead of going like this I'm trying to take the edge off by doing like that by going like that when you're satisfied that your rails are even and are narrow enough to start shaping the rail what I do is clamp it in my workmate and get good old sandpaper and just start doing that. We're not far off now. It's just uh, sanding it down so it's nice and smooth and soft. I do that over sponge, which I wrap in some sandpaper and then just move over. I try and circles, I do all sorts of things. Just don't do the same movement all the time because it'll make grooves that way or lines or whatever. So. Well, it seems that after about 20 million hours of sanding, I'm there. Alright, we're almost ready to start varnishing. I like to rub the, the boards down to get, uh, well, sawdust off and grease from my fingers really, but as you can see there's no way of completely getting around that. This is the paint I'm going to be using. It's uh, Jachtlak in Dutch. It, uh, it's the sort of uh, varnish they use on boat decks and, uh, I don't know, garden fences if you have a very pretty fence or whatever. Apart from the board, I'm also going to be varnishing this saddle. It's a, a saddle I made for a single speed bike. Um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, single speeds or wooden saddles or uh, wooden handlebars, it has that too. Uh, I'll be uploading a video of that soon. I think the trick with varnish usually is uh, to do very thin layers and do, unfortunately, a lot of layers. <laughs> 